Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Really good to be back. Um, I think uh, Pastor Burmy announced, I'm sorry, last week that I was in Florida for over the weekend. And so I'd like to share why I was in Florida and what I got from that weekend. So, uh, as most of you know, I'm currently in Grace Communion Seminary and I'm taking my last course elective, which is Experiencing the Trinity with Dr. Larry Hinkle. And part of the requirement of taking this class is to fly to Florida and participate in the Experiencing the Trinity retreat. And so that's why I was gone last week. So basically it was about 70 hours of being unplugged. So you're not allowed to go on your cell phone, laptop, not allowed to wear a watch. And I thought it was very liberating for me uh, because, you know, we're just, we live in what's called chronos time. And chronos is where we get the word chronology, where it's just strictly in this limited time and space world that we that we're so used to living whereas god lives in kairos time and kairos is focused on the present and also on what is eternal and so it was very refreshing to not have to worry about if someone texted me in a timely manner or if someone called me back or just checking constantly what time it was and it was nice to just be and soak in whatever what was happening at the time. And I'll be honest, a part of me was unsure about this weekend. A part of me was also terrified because I had never attended a spiritual retreat before. And I was scared. I, I didn't know what to expect. But as we were going around, just kind of sharing what we were expecting and hoping to get out of the weekend. All I could think of was, I really hope to hear the voice of my Father, my Heavenly Father. And thankfully I did. And it was actually, so the first day we focus on being in step with God the Father. The second day we focus on being in step with the Son, Jesus Christ. And then the third day we focus on being in step with the Holy Spirit. All around Trinitarian. So the first day was actually the, was when I heard my papa's voice. So the retreat center was located in Titusville, Florida, and it's about an hour east of Orlando, and it was kind of close to the Atlantic Ocean, so we had the bay there. So I was walking by the water, and I didn't see it. It was just very calm waves, and I remember looking down first as I was walking, and I looked up just to look at the water. And it just so happened that the place right where my eyes landed, I saw a little fishy. I saw a little <laughs> fish just leap out, and just, it was the first and only fish that I saw in, in the water that weekend. And right about a millisecond after that fish hit the water, I continued walking and I heard this voice in the back of my head saying, my heart leaps for joy when you come to me. And at first I wasn't sure if it was my voice or God's voice or the devil's voice or whatever, but it, I knew it, it was not my voice and it wasn't the enemy's voice because it gave me peace and it gave me comfort, peace that surpasses all understanding. And I knew that came from my Heavenly Father. And a part of me, the reason why I was so scared is because you're constantly, when you're not focused on what's next, you, you're forced to be in the present. And it's really hard to be in the present sometimes because sometimes you're currently feeling really tired, really irritated of something. Maybe your body's hurting. Maybe your mind is going into the past or your mind is going into the future. It's really hard to be in the present. But I'm really glad that uh, this retreat was required of us. And another thing that I experienced was called transforming prayer. And that was another time that I heard the voice of my father. So transforming prayer is, is also called healing prayer. And basically it's two people praying simultaneously over one person. And so when we were kind of going over it, so basically there's a leader, leader prayer, 
one person who was the leader who prays, and then one person who was the assistant. I was the assistant. So basically, I had the privilege to pray. Um, at first, I asked a blessing, and to just to pray over that person, and ask if we could pray for them. And then the whole entire time, basically the big chunk in the middle, I'm not saying anything. But basically, I'm praying for my leader, for the Holy Spirit's guidance to know what to say or what not to say to the person that we're praying for. And it just, it blew my mind that as I was praying, it was kind of like on cue. Basically, my first prayer was, Lord, please help Bonnie pray, but know what to say when, when she's speaking and then know when to stop talking. And so, for example, if she's asking a question, I, I ask my father, like, please give her open-ended questions to say. And then right after I said that, she asked a question that started with why. Why did you feel like you, you were in that space when you were closing your eyes? And then she started talking a little bit more, and I realized, oh, maybe, Lord, she needs to stop talking. And then right after I said that, she stops talking and, and puts her head down and starts to pray. It was just amazing just witnessing the power of the Holy Spirit as I was silently kind of being in tune to what the Spirit was doing as during this transforming prayer. And, and it was just so great to, to be able to witness that and be a part of that. Um, I, I felt like I, because for, for me, I personally, and I'm, I don't consider myself a prayer warrior at all, but I realized that over the weekend, you need to pay attention to your desires because the desires in your heart are not just there for nothing. And for, for some reason, I'm going to be re really honest and a little bit personal, but lately my desire has been, I want to fall in love again. And I listened to that desire over the weekend and I heard Jesus tell me that he wants me to fall in love with him. Because yeah, there's a difference between just loving God through our works and actually falling in love with him and knowing him. And in a holistic approach, God wants us to love us with all of our minds and all of our bodies. And that means loving him with our left brain and our right brain. So I loved how we kind of had that psychological approach as well. That to, for, to love our God with all of our minds means to integrate the analytical side. See, as a student, I, I loved learning about God academically and facts. And it, it, but whenever I came across a trial, those facts weren't enough for me. I know who God is. But why is it? Why is my prayer life not as vital or um, life-giving as it once was? And I realized I need to be using my right brain as well. He gave us the gift of imagination and creativity. And so I love that approach of integrating the, the left and the right brain for those of us who are more analytical. So I. It was just a really good revelation for me to know that I, I can not only I don't only need to love God with my the left the left side of my brain analytically and academically, but to fall in love with Him, we also need to use our imagination and our creativity and, and all all of our bodies. And for Him to dwell in my body makes this this flesh and blood a sacred place, and I cannot take that lightly. So I think it's just really beautiful how the Holy Spirit dwells in each and every one of us. So that prompts me to take care of my body even more because the, my body is a temple of the God of the universe. So I just thought that was such a cool revelation. So yeah, I think that's all I would like to share about what I took from that weekend. So thank you.